Hi, welcome to the launch box video. Uh, we've been a while since we've done one of these, but we're going to do one now. I've been doing a bit of a play at the moment, and I think I've managed to get somewhere with a bit of progress on the CDI. Uh, so here we go, we'll try and teach you how to do things with the CDI. I've been watching other people's videos and have a bit of a play and find out that I've managed to get it working. After many years of trying, I've got it working today. Uh, so let's run you through what, what is available and how it works. So first of all, uh, I will just post a, a link to the description. Obviously credit goes to somebody called T Alpha Dog, who, who was watching his videos who kind of helped me fill in the blanks where I was going wrong. So yeah, so what you need to do, uh, there'll be a downloadable file, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, it's on archive.org, uh, you can just download that from there, it's about 900 meg, download that. And inside that, you'll get a folder that looks like that. Once you've seven, unseven zipped it, unrad it, it'll be there. And that's what you'll get. Uh, all you need really for launch box is that one. Just a copy and paste. That's pretty much it. Copy from there. Find where your launch box is. You know where, where your own launch box is. Mine's on an external hard drive. So I'll just put it in your emulators paste it there and there it is that is it it's in there once you've done that because it all it all has the bios and everything in it so once you've done done that it brings you up to your launch box uh, right so I mean I've done mine as you can quite clearly see <laughs> uh, I've got a few things in there now and I'm working on finishing it all up the rest Right, so what you need to do, like any other normal emulator now, once you've pasted that into your emulators, it's just tools, import, no manage, sorry, emulators, click add. Uh, I'll show you mine that there it is there, because obviously it's already done. Uh, so all you need to do is click add, I'll click edit for what it's worth, type in there. Mess 32 UI. All I did to make it quick and clear was just copy the name from the file and pasted it there, and that is all I did. Uh, the application path, find that you know where to find that. Emulators, Philips CDI emulators. There we go. Mess there. That's all I did was copy that. So all you need to do, click there, and that will be your application path. Also, associated platforms, click in the Philips CDI, and click default emulator. That's it. Uh, there is also one other thing which I'll try and post the description to, uh, in the detail, is the default line command parameters. That's what you need. Uh, I will show you better there. I will try and post this somehow, or, or you'll have to copy it this way. That's what you'll have to type, exactly like that, in your default line parameters. So once again, I'll show you the uh, that one, and that's what you'll have to do. <coughs> you have to excuse me at the moment. The reason why I've managed to crack a CD is CDI. Uh, I've got COVID as of today. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a bit horrible today, but I want to do this video. It's important because many people have been struggling like me to get it done. Uh, and I've been doing on this for years and I've never had progress on it. But here we go. So, there you go. That's it, what you need to type in. And close that down. Save. You'll have to forgive the coffin. I do apologise. So once you've done that, you click OK, and you're good to go. Uh, there it is, with the command line parameters. Once you've done that, it's just adding your ROMs. You know where to get your ROMs. They are out there. Obviously, I can't tell you where you get them, uh, but they are out there. It works on a CHD format. It's not bin and Q, it's CHD. Uh, that you need to have these in. All I did is just Googled it, CHD, Philips CDI, etc. Uh, and there are places out there that have them. 
Uh, so yeah, all you do then is just scan your ROMs in as normal once you've set your emulator up. So scan or import, sorry, import ROM files and then go through your CDI, etc. Mess UI for your default. Uh, and then that gives you all your cover art boxes like this. And this is a game working. I think this is probably, I can't believe how, how easy this has been to do. So yeah, I'll show you a game working. I mean, I've been playing this game. I don't, I'm not into Zelda, so I won't bother showing you that. Everybody in the world has a Zelda game going on. Not my thing. But Tetris, there we go. I've just played it and I actually quite enjoyed the backgrounds on it. So I loaded it up. You can do a full screen option, but I would Google that. Whether I'm going to bother showing you that bit, I don't know. Maybe at a later stage. So I'll click it. Tab if you want to set your controllers. Press your tab key and that way you can set your controllers. Three, uh, the, the CDI had three buttons and a D-pad. It's up to you how you want to set it all up. And I've already done mine. I've just done it as X, A, B. It'll go blue. Don't worry, it's not crashed. There you go. It starts to load. With your joypad, it'll act as the mouse on screen. Click play CDI. It goes blue again. It's loaded. <laughs> Now, if most of us, like most of us, we, we were kind of... <laughs> see it working just to prove it uh, one of those things the apprentice I don't know what that's all about but it always comes seems to come up with that it doesn't seem to matter hit the button and it'll load I've not really got into it but I think this is one of those full motion type games with uh, like the like the Zelda or Hotel Mario I mean it doesn't seem to be any real <laughs> I'm bear in mind this guy. I'll stop boring you from here. The game's loading quite clearly. Is that your thing or is that your thing with uh, the CDI? This is a platformer game, I believe. Right, 
I'll start wrapping it up from there. Uh, yeah, so I'll try and put a postal link into the file. Uh, you've seen what you need to add as the cor uh, command parameter. Type that in. Best thing to do if you're stuck, just pause the video at that point and copy that onto a notepad. Uh, hopefully it helps. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer as best I can. There is a way to do full screen. I have to give all of those people credit. Uh, ETA Prime, Unbroken Software, uh, T Alpha Dog. Uh, these people that kind of helped me fill in the blanks of where I needed to be. Uh, so yeah, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully we'll see you soon with another video.